The following contest is scheduled for a one fall. Introducing first, from San Antonio, Texas, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michael. Shawn Michaels, representing San Antonio, Texas, is one of the most honored champions in the history of WWE, making his 68th WWE pay-per-view appearance case. Wow. It'll be only the third for Batista. Well, with Shawn Michaels, we all saw what happened in Survivor Series. Batista interfering in the Heartbreak Kids match against Randy Orton and costing Shawn Michaels the victory. And being accompanied by the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 318 pounds, Batista! So far tonight at Armageddon King, Evolution is 1-0. Randy Orton beating Rob Van Dam to win the Intercontinental Championship earlier. And Batista will do everything in his power to make it 2-0 for Evolution tonight. And so will Nate. Ric Flair led Randy Orton to victory, and I think he's got it in that twisted, sick mind of his that he's going to lead Batista to victory right here as well. Shawn Michaels has got to get on that horse tonight. Use every bit of speed and quickness that he can come up with and try to frustrate Batista with his movement. You know, I don't think Batista gets frustrated, Cole. I think he just gets mad. And there's another elbow drop. Struggling for control. He's got him. And here's Shawn Michaels. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. A battle of wills now. A stiff shot with the elbow. Oh, HBK hits a huge elbow. It doesn't take too long to look at Batista and recognize what an unbelievable athlete he is. I mean, the man is built like a machine. Batista is absolutely a very well-conditioned athlete, King. But on the other side, there's something that can't be seen by the naked eye. The big intangible here tonight, Shawn Michaels' unprecedented will to win. Shawn Michaels is such a technician. He's been around for so long that he knows every counter to every hole. He drops the elbow. did some damage and the showstopper connects Two. the heartbreak kid so crafty in these types of matches 
Shawn Michaels would love to win this for himself to get the victory over Batista. But there's more to it than just that. I mean, you're referring, of course, to this history with evolution as a whole, King, and the run-in Shawn Michaels has had with every single member of that group. Well, I can't stress it enough. Shawn Michaels would absolutely love to derail evolution by beating Batista right here. And that's exactly what an HBK win would do. It would derail Evolution. But on the other hand, King, if Batista can get the win here, and with Randy Orton already having won earlier, this would have all the makings of a legendary night for Evolution. Batista's just one big monster, Cole. I mean, what a physical specimen. Look at him. He's got muscles in places most people don't even have places. And with Shawn Michaels giving up about 100 pounds to Batista, there might be a little bit of an intimidation factor here tonight. HBK isn't easily intimidated, but if there is anyone that could intimidate him, it might be Batista. Well, let's face it. Batista could intimidate anybody. Batista could intimidate Godzilla and King Kong both at the same time. Some added pressure on Batista in this match because Evolution is gunning for a clean sweep in their matches here tonight. And with Randy Orton already having taken care of his part of the bargain earlier, Evolution hopes resting squarely on Batista at this point. That certainly does up the ante for Batista, doesn't it? He'll have more than just himself to answer to if he can't get the job done against HBK. Batista has the nature boy Ric Flair in his corner tonight, coaching him up on how to take out Shawn Michaels. Flair, no doubt, telling him to go after Shawn Michaels' Achilles heel, that damaged lower back. And you know what? Batista better start listening to Nate. No one is better at finding weak spots in an opponent than Ric Flair. Flair has been such a steadying influence for the two young members of Evolution, Batista and Randy Orton. Nature Boy Ric Flair has instructed Batista to show no mercy to Shawn Michaels tonight. To try to hurt him. I guarantee you, Cole, that those were the words from the dirtiest player in the game. Uh oh Look out! Look at Shawn that. Michaels, King, he's tearing up the band. And the goal got a sweet chin music. This is going to be bad for Batista, but wait a minute. Oh, what a counter. Ooh, spine buster by the animal. Incredible counter by Batista. And now it looks like Batista ready to do Shawn Michaels in. Batista feeling it. Batista going to look for the, the patented Batista bomb right here. Shawn Michaels in serious, serious trouble. Here he goes. Well, it looks like it's all over for Shawn Michaels here. But wait. No, not yet, not yet. Oh, no. sweet chin music. And Michaels fell right across Batista. Here's the count. He got him! Michaels got him! Stay down! Shawn Michaels has beat the animal! I can't believe it! And neither can Shawn Michaels! Well, Evolution will not have a clean sweep tonight thanks to Shawn Michaels. This throws a huge monkey wrench into the plans of Evolution and Armageddon. Somehow, someway, Shawn Michaels has survived. His will to win is amazing. What an athlete and what a match. He's the showstopper.
It's showtime, and here comes the showstopper. He's a four-time champion, Shawn Michaels, and tonight, can he become the next heavyweight champion of the world? We remember back to the Royal Rumble 1997 in the Alamo Dome, over 60,000 fans on hand to see Shawn Michaels regain the championship. That was almost seven years ago, and that was the last time Shawn Michaels has competed for the world championship in his hometown. Well, this huge arena is packed to the rafters, Cole, and every single person is on their feet going nuts! How does it say love Shawn Michaels here in San Antonio? It is an emotional night, and if Shawn Michaels can do it, he can become the World Heavyweight Champion. You're going to see an eruption, the likes of which we've never experienced before. Yeah, you're right. Shawn Michaels' hometown advantage has got to be decisive. There's no way he's going to let these fans down. I've been waiting a long time to see this. This is going to be an amazing match. A capacity crowd out here in San Antonio. Shawn Michaels has come home to meet his former best friend, Triple H, for the heavyweight championship of the world. Oh, boy. There is electricity in this arena, Cole. These fans want Shawn Michaels to become the world heavyweight champion so bad they can taste it. And there is no scouting report necessary for either of these competitors. They know each other so well. Struggling for control. You have to respect the confidence and poise Triple H is showing. Triple H, not happy about that. There's no doubt that the crown jewel of evolution is the heavyweight championship of the world held by its leader, Triple H. And just think what it would do to evolution if Shawn Michaels could take that world heavyweight champion off Triple H here tonight. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one can come out ahead.
And the knuckles connect. Michaels reverses it. Ouch. That'll change how you sit in a hurry. Vicious elbow drop. Oh, one of the biggest matches of Shawn Michaels' career we're witnessing tonight. There's no doubt about it, Cole. Maybe the biggest, King. Shawn Michaels knows this could be his last shot at the World Heavyweight title. Well, the element that truly elevates this match to another level for Shawn Michaels is that it's happening here in his hometown. That gives it a whole other meaning. And we've already seen it. Shawn Michaels is ready to risk life and limb to win this World Championship and send these fans into a frenzy doing whatever it takes to win. Wow, he's still down after that. Ah, that's it, he's done. Quite a contrast, we've gotten styles here tonight. The speed and athleticism of Sean. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Uh-oh, oh no. Hey, 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 look at HBK. Yeah, Vincent Sean Michaels. Whoa. Triple H set over the top rope. And out Michaels, right after Flair, and Flair knocked out as well. Now you can strut HBK. Oh, wait a minute. Incoming, no. Ah. Michaels off the ropes. Down go Triple H and Flair. HBK really being the showstopper right now, stopping the show of the game and Nature Boy. Wow! The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, and Triple H both laying flat on their backs outside the ring, and Shawn Michaels standing tall inside. And it looks like we could be heading back into the ring. We know one thing Shawn Michaels could do anywhere at any time, and that's deliver some sweet chin music. All his other tools are effective, but nothing is as effective as that super kick of his. Oh, he is the maestro of maestros, Cole. Always ready to tune up the band. Michaels goes down hard. You know, this is an absolute assault on HBK. Oh, what a swinging neck breaker. Triple H has no idea where he is. Switch him is no wait. Oh, come on now. Oh, and Triple H just blasted the official. Well, he was going after Shawn Michaels, but Michaels stuck, but... Oh. Went for sweet chin music. Triple H now going for a DDT. Plenty Michaels. Man, oh, man. Wait a minute. Look at Ric Flair. Sliding that championship in to the game. Oh, wait a minute. What's, what's he thinking about doing here with that? What do you think? The referee's down. Look out, Sean. Oh, right off Sean Michael Scott. Oh, man. Oh, man. Triple H is going to steal this. Come on, Sean Michaels. Tell him if Michaels can survive this, it'll be a miracle. Yeah. That'll leave a mark. And he does it one more time. You hear how his leg connected? Oh! The tide has turned again. They're gonna fight to the end. He was one step ahead on that one. He's putting those educated feet to good use. You know, it was just over a year ago, Cole, at Armageddon that Triple H won the World Heavyweight title in a brutal three stages of hell match. And Shawn Michaels, along with just about every other person in this building here in this hometown, would love to see just the opposite happen and have HBK rip that championship out of the game's grasp here tonight.
The fitness and speed of Shawn Michaels has come into the forefront just like it did the last time these two men met two weeks ago on Raw when HBK and Rob Van Dam defeated Triple H, Ric Flair, and Batista yeah. in a handicap tag match. Yeah, yeah, but Shawn Michaels is starting to get Triple H angry. And the one thing you don't want to do is make the game mad because that's when he is most dangerous. Well, he's not called the Cerebral Assassin for nothing. Triple H will pull out all the stops to make sure his title doesn't slip away. Shawn Michaels, we thought his career had ended some years ago due to a severely injured back, but the unbelievably resilient Michaels returned. Well, Triple H has had some injury history of his own, Cole. He's had serious leg problems in the past with that torn quad muscle. Those injuries to Shawn Michaels and Triple H kept both men out of action for a significant period of time. Shawn Michaels missing four years because of his back and Triple H missing the better part of a year with the torn quad. That's right, and before this is over, we'll see if either of those injuries come Come back to haunt Shawn Michaels or Triple H in this match. Oh, sweet tin music! And then look, Shawn collapses in exhaustion, and, and, and he did it! it. Oh. Shawn Michaels is world champion. This is unbelievable. Shawn Michaels, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think the official said both men's shoulders were down. It was a tie. Hey, 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 look out. Triple H is still champ. Are you kidding me? Now this fight rages on. And it's Flair now, set for the ride. Shawn Michaels has got to be living off Sweet Chin Music on the Nature Boy. There you go. A shot to the official. And I gotta think that he deserved it. What a crime. 